Okay. Hi, Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com here at DevOps Enterprise Summit London 2016 with my friend Kaimar Karu from Axelos. Hi. Kaimar, welcome. Thank you. So, Kaimar, I think the last time you and I spoke, it was at the DevOps Enterprise Summit in uh, San Francisco. It was, it was probably last October, about nine, ten months ago. What, what's new in the Axelos world since then? So since then, we have managed to launch the new ITIL Practitioner Guidance and Qualification, um, which is kind of our first step to, steps towards bringing the, um, kind of the, the core message of ITIL back to the forefront and then connecting that to the philosophies from Lean and Agile and DevOps mm -hmm. to help people to understand how all these things fit together and how to actually use all of that in, in, in a practical way. So rather than just this is what they are, and you understand what they are. It's more about, okay, so this is what they are, and this is how I can use it to actually achieve what I want to achieve, which is usually in IT service management at least, to deliver value for your customer. Right. And, and you know, Kaimar, we were talking a little bit before we started the cameras on about how, you know, this whole DevOps movement, as it's picked up momentum, as we've seen it move beyond maybe just core dev or mm -hmm. core ops. How the, you know, the idea of silo busting, the idea of bringing in or, or incorporating, not necessarily new ideas, but taking the best from the idle world, taking the best from ITSM, mm -hmm. taking the best from Scrum and Agile, and not creating yet another new silo, silo but building on these things cumulatively to do more faster, to service your customers mm -hmm. better, be more profitable, to be a high-performing IT organization, as, as they say. What do you, you know, you, you come at it from, from the idle side, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, Axlos is idle. What, what do you see around that? Is that kind of jive with kind of your views? Well, as you said, Quite a few of these ideas that are now part of the DevOps movement and the DevOps philosophy are not really new ideas, right? So the, the way I see DevOps more and more, it's, it's a realization that the things we have been talking about and the things that we have wanted to do for a very long time, we can now actually do, right? right? So many organizations around the world have done these things already in the past. So they have figured out that the silo is not the solution. You need to work together. Um, automation is the key to free up your time to focus on higher value activities. So it's, it's all having, has been out there, but it hasn't been available for all the organizations. Mainly, I think, because of the, the technology. So this is where technology comes in. It's not the key thing for the cultural transformation of organizations, but it, it's a huge enabler. Mm -hmm. So you can't automate when you don't have the tools for, 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 automa tools for automation. So it... Now that we can use those tools, there and essentially anyone can use them, not just the the, uh, the most advanced organizations. So everyone can use them. Uh, the focus have shifted has shifted away from infrastructure and, and keeping the lights on uh, to okay. So infrastructure is kind of okay now. So can we focus on the customer? Can we focus back on the customer and make sure that what we do on a daily basis is actually valuable for them? rather than just struggling with the infrastructure. Right. You know, that, that's an excellent point. And again, it's something I think we've heard from a few people during the last couple of days, which is we can't lose sight, especially in tech. We're such shiny gadget, shiny <laughs> trinket people, right? Where we go after the next shiny, you know, trinket. Whatever it is, right? Yep. Whatever it is. As long it, as it's, it's shiny, new. right? It's new and it's shiny. It's got to be better. Um, and we lose sight of what, what we're here for. We're here not to even necessarily go faster for speed's sake alone. Mm -hmm. we, we're here to be, serve the customer better, which in turn should make us a better business. And the concept of a customer, I think, is changing as well. Yeah. So, like, traditionally, it was the kind of IT and the rest of the business, right? So IT is serving the rest of the business, and right. they are the customers. But now, as, as more and more teams in IT are, are turning into kind of platform teams, right? So they manage the tools that others can use to achieve what they want to achieve. So there's more than one type of customer. You have the internal customers as well. And they also have expectations. So yes. as an, let's say, an operations platform team, you might um, maintain a monitoring platform that all the devs are using. And they have expectations. They want that to work in a certain way. Um, when something goes wrong, they want to, uh, well, for lack of a better word, maybe like send you a ticket that something is broken 
or they might have a request for a new fu for new functionality. So all the IT teams, they're not. It's not just the service desk who works with the customer. All the teams work with the customer, and there's many types of customers. So this kind of service management mindset is actually going more like, deeper and deeper in the organization. Yeah, and makes sense. And that I think is. So I can't say DevOps has missed that. Just DevOps, as a moment, hasn't really addressed that yet. But now, but as we'll again, have to as it exactly. continues. Exactly, so the collaboration is taken now as, as as something which is granted. So like you need to collaborate. Mm -hmm. What what's next? Okay, so collaborate to as you said. So not to, not to necessarily increase the speed, but to actually deliver value. Yeah. And how do you know what your customer values? Do you guess, or do you go out and talk to them? If it's a Another team in the IT world, it might be easier. You can get away with the tech speak. If it's the non-IT person, it's, it's the HR person, whoever it is, you need to learn their language as well. And that's yep. where the struggle comes in. So it's not about the gadgets. It's not about the, the new tools. It's understanding who your customer is, what they value, and how you in your position can best support kind of delivering that value. Absolutely. Kymer, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but one other thing I want to hit on, and that's, you know, we have people out there in our audience, perhaps they're IDLE certified already, perhaps they're scrum people, maybe they've even taken some DevOps classes, mm -hmm. but they look, they look at, you know, we've shot 40 something videos here today, or yesterday and today, and they, they're seeing such change at such a rapid pace, and they say to themselves, how can I keep up? How do I stay current? How do I stay in front of this? You know, there's got to be training for me, right? <laughs> there's got to be somewhere where I can learn this. And God knows you can listen to us. You can come to a DevOps, DevOps Days or the DevOps Enterprise mm -hmm. Summit. But how do I really learn? How do I stay up? You're Axlos, right? You guys are, are in this. What advice do you have for my audience? How can they, what, what should they be doing to make sure they, their skill sets, their training stays at the forefront? So at Axelos, we have a new initiative or, or a way of looking at these things. So it goes beyond the certification. It goes beyond just sitting in a training course. It's the, the, the community of sharing um, and profession development as well. So it's... I think what people are missing often, so there's lots of information out there. There's lots of different kinds of training programs out there. But it's difficult to choose the right one or even to understand what would be the best one for you. So the kind of the guidance around what's available and what makes sense for you, for your role and for your challenges, that has been missing. And we are now adding step by step that kind of guidance. So it's not necessarily something that comes from Axelos in terms of the actual training program or the qualification. It's all of these things on the market relate to these kinds of skills, right? So if you're in that role and you're struggling with something like this, then most likely you would benefit from these additional skills. And then to get to the, those additional skills, there's, there's a book or, or a white paper or a blog post or a training program or whatever it is that relates to that and gives you that information. So we are working on that. Some of this content is in there and we keep adding more and more to, to guide people through this. So our role is... As I said, not necessarily to create all the guidance, but to guide people through this sometimes like a minefield yeah. to not read the wrong things and, and read the right things and, and something which is really helpful rather than a pitch for something. Yeah. Right. So we're Absolutely. trying to help practitioners like this. Good. Well, Kaimar, we're going to call it a wrap on this. Thank you so much for stopping up and speaking with us. It's always a pleasure to see you. You too. Kaimar Karu of Axelos. This is Alan Schimmel of DevOps.com.